Imagine waking up from brain surgery to find that a part of your brain has been removed. It sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of hemispherectomy. Yep, that's the procedure where they actually remove half your brain. Get ready, because we're about to take a thrilling journey into the world of neurosurgery. The human brain is an incredibly intricate organ, comprising billions of neurons and countless connections. It's responsible for everything we think, feel, and do. The brain is divided into two hemispheres, known as the left and right hemispheres. Each hemisphere controls the opposite side of the body and is associated with different functions. The left hemisphere is often considered the seat of language and logical reasoning, while the right hemisphere is associated with creativity and spatial awareness. Now, let's imagine a scenario where someone undergoes a radical procedure to remove half of their brain. But why would they do that? So picture this. You've got really bad epilepsy or a nasty brain tumor. I'm talking about the kind of stuff that messes with your brain big time. Well, in those cases, doctors might say, hey, we got to take out half your brain. Sounds wild, right? But for some folks, it's the only way to stop those seizures or get rid of that pesky tumor. Crazy, huh? But sometimes, it's the best shot we have got. During the surgery, one hemisphere is carefully removed, leaving the other intact. What would happen next? All right, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of what happens when our brain gets a major makeover. Imagine your brain as a dynamic duo, with each hemisphere playing its own unique role. But what if one half gets the pink slip? How does the brain adapt to this major shakeup? Well, it turns out our brains are pretty darn resilient. When one hemisphere is removed, the remaining half steps up to the plate like a champ. It starts rewiring itself, taking on some of the tasks that were previously handled by its counterpart. And how exactly that happens? It's a bit complex, but essentially, when one hemisphere of the brain is removed, the remaining hemisphere begins to reorganize its neural connections. This process involves neurons forming new pathways and connections to compensate for the tasks that were once managed by the removed hemisphere. For example, if the removed hemisphere was responsible for language processing, the remaining hemisphere might start to take on some of those language functions by rewiring its neural circuits. Imagine if the left hemisphere, which typically handles language processing, is removed. In this scenario, the right hemisphere might start to develop new neural pathways to take on some of the language functions. So, instead of the usual path from point A, the left hemisphere, to point B, language processing, the brain reroutes signals from point A to a different destination, perhaps activating areas in the right hemisphere associated with visual and spatial processing. This rerouting allows the brain to adapt and continue performing essential functions, albeit in a different way. This rerouting of signals is a fascinating example of neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to reorganize itself in response to changes or damage. Neuroplasticity comes in various forms, but in this case, it's known as compensatory neuroplasticity, where the brain compensates for lost functions by reallocating resources and rewiring neural connections. But neuroplasticity isn't limited to just compensation. There are other types too. For instance, there's adaptive neuroplasticity, which occurs when the brain adjusts its function in response to new experiences or learning. Then there's structural neuroplasticity, where actual physical changes, such as the growth of new neurons or the formation of new synaptic connections, take place. In the case of hemispherectomy, we witness a remarkable display of compensatory neuroplasticity as the brain adapts to the loss of one hemisphere by rerouting signals and reallocating functions. This incredible ability underscores the brain's resilience and its capacity to adapt to even the most challenging circumstances. Now that you've witnessed how our brains adapt and change after brain surgery, have you ever wondered which specific part of the brain plays a crucial role in certain functions? Join us in our next video as we delve into the intricate world of brain anatomy and function. From understanding the role of the hippocampus in memory formation to exploring the importance of the prefrontal cortex in decision-making, we'll unravel the mysteries of the brain's inner workings. Don't miss out. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be the first to watch. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Until next time, take care.